Just a few years ago, I was working as a barista, serving lattes, trying to figure out what to do with my life. I had zero coding experience, no degree, and no clear direction. But here's the thing, I knew I didn't want to stay stuck. Fast forward to today, I've landed my dream job as a programmer, I have been traveling the world, I started my own business teaching people programming, and now I'm starting my own SaaS business, all without setting foot in university. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I made that leap so you can do it as well, even if you're starting from scratch. If you've been feeling stuck or you think that this path isn't for you, then stick around and I'll show you what it takes to turn your life around. One of the most important things that I wish I had when I first started learning how to code was to get a mentor. I'm not going to promote my services in this video. There will be no link in the description that I'm gonna ask you to click. This will be pure advice for someone that that wants to change their career. The first and most important thing that nobody really talks about is to get a mentor. A mentor is gonna give you that guidance. You really need that guidance. Otherwise you'll be stuck forever. That's why you feel like you are spending so much time, so much energy, but you have no clear results because you don't know what you don't know. You don't have the knowledge to know exactly what the standard is and you don't know exactly how to close that gap between where you are to where you want to be. That's why you need a mentor, someone that is working in the industry, someone that is where you want to be. That mentor is gonna give you feedback, guidance, is gonna keep you motivated, is gonna hold you accountable, and is gonna help you make this career change so much faster than if you just do it by yourself. Most people that you see online that are struggling with making this career change do not have a mentor. They are just relying on the internet, they are relying on advice on you know forums, on Reddit, in uh, Facebook groups, uh, they are getting advice from YouTube comments, and they are stuck, and they will be stuck because they are not getting the raw advice that they need based on their specific situation. That's why you see sometimes people asking, hey, what should I do in this case? Well, you cannot really get the right advice if someone doesn't know exactly who you are, what kind of personality you have. And if you find a mentor that will get to know you over months, over the span of months, then you'll get the right type of advice tailored specifically for your own specific situation. Now, where can you find these mentors? Because this is a, a very important uh, question, right? There are two places where you can find a mentor. The first one is LinkedIn. It's actually super simple. All you have to do is go on LinkedIn, create an account if you don't have one, and then go in the search bar is at the top and type in front-end developer or full-stack developer or back-end developer, whatever role you want to aspire to get into. Use the quotes, so write front-end developer in quotes, click on people, and then choose the location, ideally find someone that is in your city, and then start connecting with people. You can send 100 connection requests per week. I'm pretty sure that if you send 100 connection requests per week, I'm pretty sure one of them is gonna agree to help you out. This is the easiest way to do it, in my opinion. You don't have to overcomplicate uh, the whole process. Do not overthink it, as we discussed in so many videos. Do not overthink, just do it. You can take them out for a coffee and then ask them for advice. If you're a personable person, then I'm pretty sure they will want to help. There will be one major problem with, uh, with this approach, the fact that this person will not be invested in working with you. So after a couple of months or a couple of weeks, they will give up on working with you because they have other shit to do than just mentor you. So in my opinion, you should pay them something, at least a hundred bucks for one hour of their time in this way, they have something to gain from working with you because right now, to be honest, you're kind of leeching on them, right? And on top of that, if you pay that person some money, you'll also be way more invested to implement the advice they will give you, right? Because if you get something for free, you, I've made so many videos on this channel, nobody applies this advice because it's for free. But if you pay for that advice, you will actually take action on it because you spend money. My girlfriend right now, she's going to the gym, she has a personal trainer, and yeah, she knows what exercises to do, but because she spends money, she's emotionally invested into this, and she is actually getting some results. She actually told me yesterday that she wants to take care of her diet and whatnot, because she's spending money on it, okay? So spend money uh, on a mentor and you'll actually implement the advice that you'll be getting. The mentor will want to help you because the mentor gets something from you and it's a win-win situation. Now, LinkedIn is one place. Another place will be Twitter. Again, you can find developers, just use the search bar, it's common sense. 
And a third place would be Fiverr. You can find software developers that are offering their services, obviously a direct transaction. Then the next thing is to build a big ass project. Now I have been talking about this for hundreds of years. Big ass project will help you get experience, will help you learn all the basics that you need to know as a front end developer, full stack developer, what kind of developer you want to become, and it's going to serve as work experience on your portfolio. The last bit is to learn to interview. Learning to interview has two separate uh, skills that you have to learn. The first one is the soft skills part, and to become really good at soft skills, you have to speak with people. So if you are completely autistic, that's pretty bad, but you can fix it. The way to fix it is by speaking with more people. Try to get out of the house a bit more. When you go to the gym, speak with the people in the gym, like say hello. When you go and buy a coffee from Starbucks, talk with the barista. Those people are paid to speak with you. Uh, you can go to a supermarket, speak with the people that are, you know, working there and organizing the shelves and whatnot. Maybe study some comedy, see what is you know, funny for most people. You might be like the best developer ever, but if people do not find pleasure in speaking with you, they will not hire you. It takes you five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, and it's like any skill, it can be learned. You just need to figure out, you know, how to do it and be consistent with improving the skill set, and then you'll become a very sociable person in absolutely no time. And the last part when it comes to learning to interview is to know your shit. Prepare, you know, the basic questions, the basic trivia questions about your tech stack, about JavaScript, about React. If you build that big ass project, you'll have interesting problems to talk about. Whenever I speak with a junior developer and I ask them, hey, tell me about a complicated thing that you solved recently, they will always tell me, oh, I've implemented dark mode, or I've been creating an authorization system, or I've been implementing Redux. If you talk about those things, you are leveling yourself as a junior. But if you build a big ass project that takes several months to build, you'll be having so many problems that you can talk about and that's gonna help you actually crack that interview. Uh, algorithms are important to a certain degree. I think uh, algorithms are like cardio for the gym. So the gym, whenever you lift the weights, that's like building the project, preparing algorithms and whatnot, that's like, you know, doing some cardio. I recommend you a platform called CodeWars, not LeetCode. If you get to level 6 KYU, that's the leveling system in CodeWars, then in my opinion, you are good enough to pass the majority of algorithms. I would recommend you to keep practicing algorithms every other day, whenever you have some time off, that's gonna help you stay sharp, that's gonna help you with your problem solving skills. So this is what I would do if I would want to get a job as a self-taught programmer. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.